I'm thrilled, of course, that uh, my great granddad would receive uh, uh, such an honor. Uh, the U.S. Congress will be awarding the Congressional Gold Medal to the Monuments Men. The Monuments Men were a group of over 300 men and women, so the name is a bit uh, uh, confusing, but men and women who, towards the end of the Second World War, um, uh, were deployed or had a mission uh, on the European theater to recover pieces of art that had been stolen, displaced, looted during the war, mostly by, by, by the Germans. And so my great-granddad, Leo van Pevel, um, was one of those monuments men. He was a uh, chief curator before the war. He was a chief curator of uh, the Belgian Fine Art Museum. Um, and so during the war, he actually spent some time uh, uh, drawing lists of pieces of art that he'd heard had been you know, stolen, looted, displaced, but that belonged to Belgian people or to Belgium as a country. And so he drew those lists, and towards the end of the war, he was tasked uh, with the mission to recover some of those pieces of art, uh, uh, mostly, uh, uh, well, at the time it was thought that these pieces of art were held somewhere in Germany or in Austria. Um, so he was tasked by the Prime Minister to uh, uh, um, recover these pieces of art and travel around Austria and Germany to recover them. Um, that brought him uh, to uh, very salt mines because a lot of these pieces of art were actually stuck, or at least it was believed again at the time, but he wasn't sure that they were stuck in salt mines in various places across Germany. Um, and so he kind of didn't find them for a while and then ended up being lost in Germany, arrived close to the uh, Soviet front because uh, the war was still uh, raging at that time. It was really the end we in, in May 1945 and uh, 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 realized that it was going too far east towards the Soviet lines. Uh, they got uh, shot at, actually. Fortunately, nobody got hurt. Then drove back westwards uh, and, and encountered uh, a U.S. army camp. I think it was an army camp. Um, and got arrested by the, by, the, by the U.S. soldiers because they thought, well, who are these people dressed like Belgian soldiers but coming from uh, uh, the east side? You know, that there's something fishy here. And they got kind of in prison for a few hours and then they, they managed to prove their credentials and were released. And that's more or less when they, they arrived at uh, the, the actual salt mine in Austria, in Althausi, where uh, the piece of art that he was looking for uh, uh, had been found. And so his mission from then on was to uh, uh, assess those pieces of art and see whether it would be possible to bring them straight away back to Belgium. Uh, he tried to do so, but he wasn't allowed to do it. Um, uh, for security reasons, I imagine uh, the uh, American government wanted to be in charge of shipping it back or, or bring it back to Belgium. Uh, but he was on hand probably in Belgium six months after that, we're still in 1945, to receive the piece of art uh, in Belgium. So that's kind of a, the story.